Hey everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say apologies for the small channel hiatus. It was a super busy end of the month uh, with my birthday trip in Hawaii. And then there was a Stony Clover store opening in Nashville. I know probably a lot of people who follow me here on YouTube don't know about Stony Clover community. This is more like Lux community, but it's a really awesome group of women, a really cool brand. And it was really cool to go to the store opening. I had actually never been to Nashville or any part of the South before, but it was very fun. I am coming to you with a new video this week. And honestly, like, um, I'm a little embarrassed. I mean, embarrassed is the wrong word. Normally, I like my channel to be a little bit more about the love of luxury, love of bags, and less big shopping hauls. But it's just kind of been a busy few weeks for me. And so I am back with another... <laughs> Chanel unboxing video. It's very excessive. Uh, I hope, I hope, I don't know. I don't think it'll be the same pace, but I just wanted to say something because I understand it's a lot and people can kind of be weird about unboxing videos and think that, you know, it's too much. I am trying to slowly and smartly grow my collection. The thing is with Chanel is the nature of it is when you see that bag that really speaks to you that you really love, the time to act is now, it's not coming back around. And like I said in my other videos, I've had a very good year and so there's just more flexibility. And so that I guess is my large disclaimer for this video. I realize it's out of the regular, it's too much, it's a lot, uh, but it's very fun and I am a Lux lover and these are the sorts of things that I prefer to spend money on. So without further ado, we'll kind of dive into the unboxing. We'll do a little chit chat. We'll do um, some product comparisons and we'll kind of go from there. So thank you for joining me. Uh, please subscribe down below. Hit the thumbs up button. If you like unboxing videos, I can't promise they will be this frequent, uh, but that's what we've got on deck today. Anyway, here is the bag from Chanel. I'm very excited to report that unlike my last Chanel unboxing, this one actually came with a box. So the box shortage is no more. The Chanel shortage continues. It was actually very funny. On display, they had, oh, so cute. This is like, I just love the look of the pack. Like just makes me so so happy. This actually is the older Camellia, not the new paper one that we've been seeing. The new paper one's supposed to be more sustainable. This, you know, it's hard because I, on Super Jacob, he'll talk about sustainability in two ways. And I do agree. There's like two sides to it. One is what is recyclable, decomposes, you know, doesn't fill a landfill. That's one part of sustainability. And then the other part of sustainability is what is something that will last, that you can keep forever, that you don't need to keep rebuying. And so it's kind of like a balance because maybe, you know, plastic lasts forever and ever and ever. If you keep it and use it forever and ever and ever, then it's really good. Uh, but plastic, when put into a landfill, just kind of sits there forever. Um, it's good for recycling though. So it's it's complicated. Anyway, this is the old rubber camellia. What was I saying? Oh, the boutique was very empty. The shelves are very empty. They had the uh, La Passa, the 20, they had 2018 crews out on display that they got shipped in from France. Uh, you know, sourcing, supply chain, everything. It's a problem right now. Oh, and this is really, look at how stuck on there. It's like gonna untie the bow. Very sticky. Oh my God. I was like, I don't know where I want to put it. I mean, I'll put it just down on that carpet. Anyway. Whoa. Yeah, so the store was very empty. I was very excited and surprised when my Chanel essay uh, texted me that this had come in. So inside we have the tissue with the clear Chanel sticker. Let me see if I can do this kind of carefully. And I actually, I realized that, so my essay texted me a picture of this and you'll see in a minute why I was like, I need to see it in person just because the color is very hard to capture. And I'm curious too, how it's going to look on film. <laughs> Throw it in my face. 
a little bag in there. The booklet. My last bag, I did not get a booklet. I also didn't get a box, so. Yes, anyways. Yeah, so there's the Chanel shortage. And there's also just like the, I think certain stores, certain areas have really high demand. I was kind of, I have a sad story that I witnessed going to the store the other day. And it, and it really is, it is unfair. Like I benefit from the unfairness of the system. And we can talk a little bit more of that later. Let's do the happy part first to reveal. This is a bag. I don't have anything similar to this in color. It is the dark pink Chanel mini lambskin with a top handle. It has gold hardware, shiny gold hardware. I don't think, I don't think it's champagne. It looks a little light on camera. Well, champagne in some way. Let me see. I can pull to compare. This is my jumbo. I guess it definitely looks a little champagne compared. Maybe it is. Let's compare with the boy, which I know is champagne. Oh yeah, so maybe it's the same. Maybe it's shiny champagne gold hardware. Not as light as some. Sometimes I feel like on color, the champagne looks more yellow than on um, black bags. It looks very, very light. Anyway, open it up. Oh, the tag is back here. Here we'll get the details on this. All right, so this is 21K. This is the recent season. Here's the details. This was 4,800 here in the US. Inside, classic mini. It's kind of nice. My last couple ones have come with an extra dust bag, although it makes me wonder, it's like, are they stealing shoe dust bags? She is made in France, and this one has the uh, blockchain identifier, the same pocket, the back zip, no authenticity card, no sticker anymore. It's all in the RFID. So this is her, and it, actually I feel like it's showing up very well on camera. It is not a red bag, it's a pink bag, and it's a redder pink like my lipstick is more red maybe like this is like red and pink I think the line that I draw for is it a red bag or not is if somebody asked for a red bag and you showed them this they'd be like no that's that's not it but this for me it's like a bright pink bag and I think it's so cute so it has the top handle detail this chain is actually thinner than the other mini chains and it attaches a little bit more narrow I have my mini next to me, so maybe we'll do a full comparison. It has the same back pocket. This is my first lambskin, lambskin bag, I wanna say. This, my iridescent, this may be lambskin too, but it's a little bit different to me. It's also the wallet on chain. This is like more of a full lambskin bag. Anyway, she is just gorgeous. I was so excited to get a mini top handle and also in a pink color. I'm such a pink person. I love all shades of pink, light pink, but this is my first sort of dark pink bag. For comparison, here is my Caviar Mini from several years ago. So you can see they're very much same size, similar construction with like the hard, hard bottom pocket. Although if you look at the top, you can see the holes for the non-top handle mini are much wider set. And then this is a little bit more narrow set with the top handle. And then comparing the chain, you can see this is much thinner than the regular mini chain. So let me pull the chain out of this one and we can do a length test. I know minis each season kind of have a different, different length chain, slightly different construction. This one is a, uh, 25 series. Is that 2018? Bad at that. So here's the full length of the mini. Let me see if I can, I won't be able to show it all on camera, but if I kind of hold them equal here, they're pretty much the same length, if not the pink one being slightly longer. 
just slightly. It's very, very slight. Although I think the narrow attachment versus the wide attachment might give it slightly a, let me see. So this is hitting right in my belly. I'm sitting on the floor, so I can't really like stand up. That'll be awkward. And then this one with the narrow, no, same, it's like same exact positioning. I think with the narrow attachment, it just feels slightly different. So anyway, so I'm trying to escape this. I'm so pleased with this color. I'm so excited that uh, my essay reached out about this bag for me and I was able to snag it. Oh, my sad story time. Okay. So ever since, you know, the pandemic with COVID and everything, there is a line in front of Chanel for people waiting to get in. You can't just go into, this is a boutique inside of a larger department store. You can't just go in, you have to wait in line outside of the little boutique area, and then they let people in one by one. Or if you have a sales associate, you can make an appointment with them, go to the front of the line, say, hi, I would like to, I'm meeting with so-and-so, I have an appointment, and they let you right in. Well, you know, these pe people wait in line for like 30, 45 minutes. This young woman, and I say young woman because I thought she was younger than me, at least. I, I don't know anything about her. I don't have any details. She waited in line for like 45 minutes. She's in the boutique. They ask her, oh, how may I help you? Okay, keep in mind, the shelves are empty. Like they don't have recent season stuff like this or like this out on the shelves, right? It's all hidden in the back or <laughs> depending on who you believe, like not available, right? Uh, and she's she asked, she's like, I would love to see the earrings. Like what earrings do you have available? And the essay was like, well, we have this pair in the case right there. It's like a big gaudy pair. Like I'm just, you know, you know it's not what she's really looking for. And she's like, oh, let me pull the earring tray. She pulls out this big tray, big like this, you know, and there's like literally two pairs in it. And the girl's obviously like, um, no, that's not, no. And the essay was like, oh, well, you know, check back another time and just walked away. And then the girl's like trying to get her on the velvet rope, which is up for the people waiting in line and like nobody's helping her. And it was just so sad to me because it was like, I mean, I feel bad. I feel like they size you up and decide if they want to let you play the game or they don't want to let you play the game. And if they don't want to let you play the game, like you're just stuck. And it just, I felt so awful. I didn't, but it, you know, I don't know what to, I don't know anything about her. I mean, maybe she comes in and like X crazy every single day. Like, you know, I have sympathy for the sales associates too, but it's just such a hard system. And meanwhile, imagine waiting in line for 45 minutes and then, you know, someone like me, like I show up, I have my appointment. So I go right in, don't wait at all. And then I am here for this bag, which, you know, I had already purchased over the phone. I, my sales associate texted me about it. I said, I don't know, I need to see it in person. But in order to hold it for a couple of days until I was able to go into the boutique, I paid for it over the phone. And then I was like, well, I'll come pick it up and decide once I get there if I'm going to take it or not and so I guess in that way it would be sitting in the back but not available because it was already paid for for me but somebody seeing that who comes in is like oh do you have any minis and they're like no and then the sales associate goes in back and brings this out for me I just it's like so disheartening it's such a hard system and there's so many discussions about the brand exclusivity and the limits and the price increases and all of that it's fraught and it's so hard because I feel like so many people love the brand and the bags and the look and the colors and there's just all this gatekeeping which feels feels bad anyway that was like a, I didn't mean to get onto my soapbox and have a huge PSA discussion like that. I just came to show my pink Chanel, dark pink Chanel mini with a top handle lambskin bag. I'm definitely going to use this a ton. I will do an update video on wear and tear. I actually have a few more review videos to post, you know, what fits in the mini Jody bag that I got, a review on my Chanel boy, which the boy actually, 
I've been loving the boy. I've been using the boy so much. It's just such an easy neutral. In fact, last night when I went to go pick up the other bag, I wore this and it goes to me like this. It's like, you could go either way. You could go dark pink or you could go the lavender because there's like lavender and pink and yellow. And this is just such a great neutral with jeans. People complain, you know, maybe the chain is loud. Maybe the chain is clunky. This is such an easy grab and go bag to me and such a good size that fits so much. I have to do my own video or its own video on this bag, but it is such a good one. I have to figure out what size this is. I think it's the old medium, but with the boys, the sizing's all, all kinds of crazy. Okay. Kind of a all over the place unboxing. What else do I want to say about this mini? Oh, the other thing is in 21A, there was a very similar iridescent red. This is not the iridescent red. This is the 21K dark pink. And it is definitely pink. It does not photograph pink. But in real life, it looks very pink. I'm hoping, I hope, you know, there's recording and then there's like once the video uploads and all that stuff, I hope it shows up as pink. All right, so this has been a very busy month for me in terms of bag acquisition. And hopefully going forward, my videos will be a little bit more diving into the use of the wear and tear and reviews on the different bags. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And you can follow me on Instagram at Maddie Shops. Okay, guys, have a good day. Bye.